Hey guys, it's Helen from Trail and Kale and welcome to my Ultra Lone Peak 8 review. If you're not familiar with trailandkale.com, we're a website that helps you run your best. So whether that's through running gear reviews, shoe reviews, just like this one, our free running training plans and our running advice, head over to trailandkale.com to learn more about that. So what are the Ultra Lone Peak 8 running shoes for? Well, they're trail running shoes predominantly and not just that, but they're trail running shoes designed to be capable of, of basically giving you grip in any terrain. I mean, if you look at the tread, it's pretty gnarly. I'd say some of the most rugged tread you can get on a pair of trail running shoes. So they're definitely designed to be worn in any environment. Another special thing about the Ultra Lane PK, which is similar for the majority of running shoes from this brand, is that they're zero drop. Zero drop meaning there's no differentiation between the height on the heel and the height on the toe of the shoe. So you're really running in what some people call a barefoot running style. So kind of as nature intended, you're gonna end up kind of running more on your forefeet, just like you would if you were literally running barefoot. If you think about running around the house, backyard, in the garden, you, you always end up on that front of your foot, which is very different to how most people actually run when they're running in a pair of normal running trainers with a, a bigger drop from heel to toe. To help encourage that, as you can see in the footage in this review, the Ultra Lone Peak 8, which is very similar to other ultra running shoes, has got the, what they call like a natural foot shape. So it's quite a differentiator for ultra. You can see there's loads of space in the toe box. Your toes are definitely not being cramped in there. In fact, when you first slip these shoes on, you probably feel like they're a bit too wide in the forefoot. Now, that's not to be confused with shoes for people with wide feet. Um, if you look at the shape of these shoes, they're only wide in the toe box. They're actually quite snug fitting in the midfoot and that's by design. So just a few more key stats before I head into what I love about the shoe and the areas I think could be improved. Firstly, these are shoes with neutral support. So there's no stability or support for people who maybe have pronation issues when you run. It's very neutral. The cushioning, again, is kind of moderate cushioning is how I describe it. So kind of middle of the road. Um, I actually feel it's on the lighter side of moderate. So there are other running shoes out there and I can stick few examples in the description below of other trail running shoes where you get more cushioning in that midsole so the foam in between the the outsole that touches the road and the insole which your foot sits on um, it's not as cushioned as other trail running shoes and that in my opinion and I'll get into this in a minute is a good thing right these are designed so that you can run and feel the trail underneath you and if you have too much cushioning you start to lose some of that um, contact with the ground Weight then, I always weigh the shoes in my size, which is a US Women's 7.5. These weigh 8.4 ounces, so pretty lightweight, not ultra, ultra light, but um, you don't really notice you have them on, which again, kind of lends itself well to these shoes being kind of like a zero drop barefoot feel. So let's get on to the things I love about these shoes. So firstly, Ultra is super differentiated in that they have this wide toe box and zero drop for the majority of their shoes. They do have some low drop around four mil options as well, but generally zero drop, wide toe box. It really makes you run on your forefoot. Now, that's kind of a good double-edged sword. Um, if you're willing to change your running style and you want to run on the trails and prance around as if you haven't got any shoes on, that's kind of what they feel like but you've got cushioning and you've got this amazing grip on the sole, which brings me to point number two that I love about these shoes. Okay. Let's talk about this grip on the sole of the Lone Peak 8. Check it out. So Ultra Lone Peak 8, look at the lugs on that. Now these shoes, not only do they have it on the sole, but they've also, and you don't see this on many other brands of running shoe, you see how it kicks out on the heel as well. So when you're going downhill, you're getting that just extended few inches of, a few millimeters. <laughs> that extended grip here um, which can really save your bacon if you're flying down especially in the mud you can see here there are some muddy patches where I'm running right now it's dried out quite significantly but that's gonna help now you come around to the front and it curls up around the toe which is again super nice for a little bit of extra traction not too bumpy here but is giving you some more rugged outsole for climbing hills as well another thing that's really enjoyable about the Lone Peak 8 is they haven't done anything weird with the lacing or the tongue. So they've got this little loop here, which helps to hold the tongue in place so it doesn't slide down as you run. It's amazing how many running shoes don't have this. It's a bit of an oversight in my opinion. So these do, and they also have these good size loops on the front and on the heel here. So if you have any issues getting your shoes on in the first place, then you can use these, these laces, 
don't know if you can hear that, but they're kind of textured, really easy to do up as you saw earlier in this video review, and they stay done up. Okay, now onto some of the things I feel can be improved with the Ultra Lone PK. So these shoes are clearly designed, as we talked about earlier, to be run in some really rugged terrain, but they're lacking any toe blocks protection. You see that, you can easily push this down here. So while there is protection underfoot and you're not gonna feel anything in terms of these sort of rocks or smaller rocks that might dig into your sole, if you kick a rock, you're gonna know about it. If you're enjoying this Ultra Lone PK review, do me a solid and give it a like. Consider subscribing to our channel for more running shoe reviews, just like this one. So $140, are the Ultra Lone Peak 8 worth buying? $140 is a really great price for a pair of trail running shoes with this level of protection. So yes, they are a great choice, with a caveat. As I explained earlier in this review, if you're not familiar with ultra running shoes or the sort of zero drop concept, it does take some getting used to. So if you're looking for that and you want extra room in your toe box and you don't want to have the bigger heel to toe drop that you get in other running shoes, definitely these are worth a try. You're going to get the protection, um, you're going to be feel light footed on the trails, you can have a lot of fun in these shoes. However, if you don't really want to change your running style, because um, it might reduce you know, the amount of mileage you can do initially as you build it up and reduce your propensity for injuries as you change your running style. If you kind of land on your heels, you need that extra cushioning, perhaps you're a bit of a heavier runner, you probably want to steer clear of these shoes because if you're not going to adapt your style, you're just not going to get the support and cushioning and could find yourself picking up a running injury. So it kind of depends on your philosophy and your approach to how you want to run trails, whether or not these are the right ones for you. If you're a runner with wider feet and you're looking at this review thinking, I heard ultra running shoes are good for people with wide feet, you're right. Maybe not this particular version because there's a wide version of the ultra lone PK for women and for men. So if you actually have wider feet, check out the wide version. If you have regular feet like me, stick with the normal version. You can see here, it's a really snug fit all around here, which is fantastic for me. It holds my feet in place as I run, but I've still got loads of room in this toe box here. So with all that said, there's links below in the description if you want to go and check out these shoes online. If you're looking for some with more cushioning, based on what I was saying earlier about maybe zero drop isn't quite for you, but you like the kind of ruggedness of the Ultra Lone PK outsole, then check out the description as well. I've popped a few links to other running shoes that we've reviewed on trailandkale.com, which are probably going to be right up your street. <laughs> <laughs>